Dear friends, in this video presentation, I shall like to describe the concept of dynamic bevel phacoemulsification. This will of course help you to have a better understanding of how to increase your followability during phaco. Now what we've all been taught down the ages is that we should face the bevel of the phaco tip downwards during entry through the main incision and once inside the eye, we have been recommended to turn the bevel upwards and keep it that way throughout the phaco emulsification. The reasoning behind this is that a bevel down entry will prevent decimate membrane detachment whereas a bevel up phaco will prevent the PC from getting inadvertently sucked into the phaco probe. The maximum force of attraction between the fragment and the phaco tip will depend on whether the piece is directly in front of the tip and it will also depend on the shape of the fragment that will allow maximum surface area contact with the bevel as you can see in the diagram. Therefore, in order to access a fragment lying underneath the bevel up phaco tip, one needs to slightly pull back the phaco tip as well as tilt the tip downwards. Now this will align the piece in the correct line to create the occlusion of the phaco tip and help you to proceed with phaco. Similarly, if a fragment is lying to the right of the bevel of the phaco tip, one needs to slightly retract the tip and tilt it to the right side to achieve occlusion. The other option is to rotate all the pieces to the 6 o'clock position in order to perform phaco emulsification, which is how most of us perform the phaco procedure. Now I'd like to introduce a dynamic bevel technique concept where the bevel is not kept static but constantly rotated in order to enhance fallibility of pieces, occlusion of the tip and help the ease of phaco emulsification. The movement of the phaco tip is greatly minimized. This technique is useful in situ chop when the nucleus does not rotate or in cases of zonular weakness or dialysis. Now let us analyze this concept with the following videos and let us first observe how I perform standard phaco emulsification keeping the bevel static in the bevel up position. In this form of phaco emulsification you have to achieve good and free rotation of the nuclear fragments. Each other fragment is brought to a position wherein it lies immediately diametrically opposite the phaco tip. The phaco tip is then impaled into the nucleus fragment brought in the safe zone and emulsified. This is a technique which is time tested, it works well in almost all cases and definitely it must be a technique that all of us should adopt. However, sometimes we may run into cases where the nucleus rotation is difficult or in cases of zonular weakness or even if there is a mild zonular dialysis. In such cases, the mobilization of fragments can be done slightly differently because rotation is going to be slightly difficult. The bevel of the phaco tip can be rotated towards the fragment. Now the direction in which the bevel faces will influence the fallibility and the attraction of the nucleus fragment onto the phaco tip. And with minimum movement of the phaco tip, we find, you see that compared to the previous video, the movement of the phaco tip is minimum, it's held steady in the anterior chamber. And in order to achieve good occlusion, I do not move the phaco tip nor the piece towards to the inferior quadrant, but just turn the bevel of the phaco tip. Now turning the bevel of the phaco tip so that the bevel faces the bulk of the nucleus fragment will also enable you to quickly emulsify this nucleus fragment. Just see how the nucleus piece automatically moves and comes in the direction of the bevel so that it can impale itself and be removed. The piece underneath, the bevel is slightly turned down. You grasp the piece, you rotate it upwards so the bevel is now safely facing away from the posterior capsule and apply phaco emulsification to remove the piece. Now this is what I call the dynamic bevel concept. 
where the rotation of the bevel will control the followability and the fragment removal pattern. Let's look at another case of uh, this dynamic bevel concept which is applied in a small pupil. So the bevel turn towards the fragment. You don't have to follow the fragment. You don't even have to rotate the fragment to lie opposite inferior to the bevel. Using minimum amount of fake or emulsification, the piece can be absolutely removed. Now the bevel is now turned towards the right. This will impale and bring the nucleus to the center. Remember that in order to increase the effectivity of phaco emulsification and to improve followability, all you have to do is to face the bevel in the direction of the bulk of the nucleus. So this will cause the nucleus to quickly disappear into the phaco tip. Now this is not a technique that I would recommend in all cases, but probably in the select cases where you experience difficulty in nucleus rotation or in cases of polar cataracts or when you have a zonal weakness or dialysis, then the dynamic bevel concept can definitely be given a try. I thank you for your attention.